Okay, I'm going to give you a quick tour of how to create a space curve in Calcplot 3D and how to animate a motion in space or in the plane using it. So to begin with, once you're into Calcplot 3D, we're going to uh, clear the, the view. So we'll click this button up here that clears the plot. Uh, next we're going to go to add, a, add to graph and select space curve. The default space curve that it graphs is a helix or a spiral, so we're going to go ahead and select this and that will graph it off to the right. I'm going to zoom in with a uh, sc scroll wheel on your mouse or with up and down two fingers on my, uh, my Mac laptop. And anyway, we, we can, what we can do now is create a trace vector and in fact it shows more than just the trace vector. Uh, in blue. It also shows a velocity vector in black and an acceleration vector in green which happens to be right on top of the trace vector right now. So what we can then do is animate the motion and you can see here how it uh, animates that uh, object moving along this helix. The Again the blue vector is tracing out the path. You can see how it points to the location of the point on the helix the black vector is the velocity of the motion. You can see how it's tangent to the path right now and always is. And then the green vector is the acceleration vector and that's showing how the motion is accelerating. In this particular parameterization of this helix, the acceleration happens to be pointing to the z-axis, to the center of the circular motion. And that's because this uh, happens to have a constant speed and the uh, velocity and acceleration vectors are orthogonal to each other at all points. Um, so anyway, this is how that works in space. You can modify what's being shown by using this little settings button. And right now you can see all the things that are checked here. Uh, the trace point is checked as being shown, the trace vector, the velocity vector, and the acceleration vector. If you'd like, you can also show the oscillating circle, uh, the curvature value, uh, this box helps you select all these below here to show the whole TNB frame. Um, you can also select those items one at a time. And then you can show or hide the TNB labels and TNB equations, which I think are also shown automatically if you select this. Yep. So that shows the whole TNB frame, as you can see to the right. And you can then deselect anything below that if you'd like. All right, um, let's go back here and look at something different. Uh, let's go ahead and just look at circular motion. So we're going to put this to a zero, and that throws this down into the plane. Let's make this go from zero to two pi. And press enter, and you can see now it just goes over itself once. And now to make it easier to see the 2D motion, I'm going to restrict the view to 2D with this uh, checkbox. And now we can either use the scroll wheel, starting at zero and going to two pi, uh, or we can animate the motion. Now in this particular parameterization, the acceleration is right on top of the trace vector, so it might make sense for us to hide the trace vector. And then you can just see the relationship between the acceleration and velocity in this particular parameterization of the circle. Now the fun thing about this uh, little uh, demonstration of this app is that you can change things pretty easily and experiment. So we could, for example, put in here, uh, say, t cubed. Oops. T, better hit the right button here, T cubed, and here T cubed. And now let's say we want to go from 0 to the cube root of 2 pi. So we'll put parentheses around this and raise it to the 1 third power. Press enter, and let's see what happens if we bring this back to the beginning. So here we can see it starts at 0 velocity, zero speed, and zero, zero acceleration, and comes up and speeds up, and you can see the acceleration there is tangent to the path at the beginning, and just continues to change here as it pulls the motion around. If I animate this, you can see how it works. It's speeding up, actually, continually. Um, and so that's sort of interesting. We could also go from, uh, say, a negative value here. So negative, why don't we go from pi to the one-third, to pi to the one-third. Okay, and then animate that. And here you can see something different happening. It slows down and speeds up again. 
So again, something interesting to look at. Same circle, but parameterized a different way. So anyway, this is what I wanted to show you. I wanted to make sure you could um, illustrate motion, both in space and in the plane, using this app, and show you how that can be done, and looking at the relationships between the vectors that are involved.